Oh boy, we have a banger today. Guess what? You are never going to believe this. I poached the voice actor from a family guy who does Peter Griffin voices who helps my friend Joe do his videos. And I thought it would be hilarious to show him the most racist family guy memes that I could find on the internet because... <sighs> Peter Griffin has some explaining to do, brother. Are you ready, Mr. Griffin? I want you guys to know I'm being held hostage. I need help. You, you guys, he, he really, really poached me. He really, literally poached me. When he said he literally poached me, that's what he meant. Okay. <laughs> okay, for, are you ready for the first one? Okay, let's do this. Let's jump right in. <laughs> I've never heard it like in person, dude. Yeah. Can you laugh in a Peter Griffin voice? Yeah, holy crap. Oh my. Okay, ready? First one. On your marks, get set. White guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. You know, you could have called that before before it even started. You know, the white guys get a jump start. That's that's obvious. Uh, you know, uh, they need that jump start. You know, and, and obviously the uh, the colored folks uh, 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 just bypassed the, the white guys. Nah, but, but the end part. The end part is what I want to know about. <gasps> I thought they were coming after us. What did he mean by that? Uh, well, you know, when you're living in Quahog, in the, uh, especially on my street, there's a black guy. Listen, if you live near Cleveland, you would totally understand. <laughs> You know, his son is always looking in through the window at us, and 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 Lois constantly has to call call him over to get him to to pull him away. Okay, all right, we're just gonna move on, dude. Oh, I see. This is a clip where you've rounded up a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, what do you call what? this? Go ahead and say it. It's just a bunch of ethnic children. I'm not sure where you found it's them. It's a bunch of Stewie's friends. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, sorry. All right. Hey, kids, I'm I, I'm Santa Claus. Just practice it for Christmas. But you are white. Jack and Sarah told me Santa is Indian. Don't be stupid. Santa is black. Santa can't be black. We do not fear him. Damn it, Gandhi. Santa is Asian. How can he be Asian? Santa doesn't drive his sled 20 miles under the speed limit with his blinker on. Go back to your rice paddy, will I? Hey, Santa! Okay, um... Okay, well, that's a little worrisome. We might need to talk to the parents of these children, uh, off camera to figure out what's going on internally here. <laughs> Look, man, you're the one who had him in your house, brother. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just presenting the evidence. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, uh, look at me. I'm the bad guy for trying to give these guys a nice Christmas. Okay, listen. I rounded up Stewie's friends. This is nothing weird. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um. Oh, jeez, I'm not Quagmire. Yeah? Oh, Quagmire wouldn't be giving him presents, bro. He'd be. F the, 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 the scene for this episode would be in a bedroom, not to. Be a hell of a lot crazy. Oh Did my. You? What the. F <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, next one. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember your face. Uh, I know you went in this part of the episode, but uh, holy crap! Have you seen? Were you, were you president this this time? Because it... you know, I've seen a clip of this guy. He's he's locally hated. How is this allowed on TV? F me, I don't know. Stewie, you don't look so good. Uh... Oh, baby, you're burning up. Oh my God, Stewie, Stewie, speak to me. Don't, don't take me to a black doctor. Oh my. F God, bro, you're just brain to racist at this point. That's your kid, brother. Hey, listen, what Stewie learns, uh, you know, going around in his room doing whatever. You know, Lois buys him all these progressive books. I don't know what the hell she's buying him up here. Hey, what's the problem with a black doctor, dude? Well, black doctors are notoriously, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're notoriously. What are they? Notori. What? What? Are you, what? Uh, black. They're notoriously black, as is as stated in the title. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. Stewie woke up and chose racism. F me, not another one. Hey, Lois. I'd like you to meet our new friend. Jerome. Loose Lois. What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry, I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? First of all, he called her Loose Lois. That's, um... Okay, well, you know, there's a story for that. Uh, okay, go ahead. Loose Lois, she was a porn star. What's she? I learned this only recently. Wait, are you being serious, actually? Well, uh, you know, Loose Lois, that's a porn star name. And then Jerome was her, uh, you know, her, uh, her shoulder. Hmm, the, uh, Jeremy, uh... 
What's that guy's name? The porn star, Jeremy. Uh, what's his, what's his name? Uh, Jer Ryan Jeremy. I think you're thinking of Ryan Jeremy. He was the uh, Ron Jeremy, if you would say. Uh, oh, yeah. The Ryan Jeremy of before the Peter times. Oh, my God. Peter, you've got yourself in a bit of a pickle here. What's going on here, mate? Oh, that's, uh, that's N-word Jim. Is it really? Oh, I believe it. I believe so. Uh, we sell the uh, we sell the river together. What did you just call me? I, I I thought that was your name. That is our word. You've got no right using it. Hey hey hey! I'm cool. I'm cool. No problem. Could could you pass me the or n word, Jim? Thank you. What was the word you called him that made him upset? Uh, you know, I called him a nice fellow. Ah. Oh. Uh, it was not anything, you know, the cameras cut, like to cut when, uh, things are out of, uh, out of context here. How do you spell that word? Uh, N-I, uh, okay, hold on, Lois, Lois is calling me. Okay. Peter, I need you in the other room. Okay, Lois, I'm coming. Hold on. Quagmire, you sit here for me. Okay, Peter, I don't know what the hell we do. Family guy is so racist. What the hell? You shouldn't have tried these tricks on Denise Bryan. But if you ask me, she got lucky. Because now she's dodged the bullet of being in a relationship with a loser like you. Well, you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. That's a weird one. That's a f***ing weird one, man. Well, black, black women are notoriously, uh, very, uh, wise. Okay, thank you. Oh, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, Peter's back. Okay, I, here I am. What the hell is- Okay, you guys watched one without me. I'm, I'm already upset. I don't think we should do this video anymore. Kragmar said some weird shit to me. Just kidding. As you are aware, Asians are known for their great sense of humor, and enormous genitalia, and respect for non-Asians, and for being polite. Now, Give me big American food, you fat, ugly, Kojak, bang, bang, American fat souls. I feel like Asian people aren't known for any of that. Yeah, that seems like it was just listing the things that were opposite of what Asian people are known for. He literally just described a non-Asian person. <laughs> And in your house! In my- right in my front door. Right to my wife. How do you get to this point where, like, an Asian dude comes into your house, describes something isn't, then asks for food? What the f*** was happening? Uh, well, you know, I- I got my laundry done at his, uh, at his, uh, dry cleaning place, and, uh, long story short, he, uh, took my coat out for a night on the town, and I found a ticket in a pocket. This is definitely not a Seinfeld, uh, reference here. This is not something that really happened to me. Long story short, I snapped at him. <laughs> I snapped at him. Oh, Least racist family guy moment. Come on. <laughs> Do math. Do you think it's okay to use a Asian kid instead of a um, uh, c calculator? Oh, yeah. I mean, calculators are horribly inaccurate. I mean, a an Asian child will definitely knock it out of the park. How would you say calculators aren't accurate when the Asian child probably built the... It. You know, you just kind of answer the question yourself right there. If the Asian child built the calculator, wouldn't one assume that he is smarter than the calculator? I guess you're right, yeah. I stand corrected, I'm sorry. Which came first, the uh, chicken or the dinosaur? Which came first, the Asian kid or the calculator? Uh, one would assume the, the, the Asian. Do you want to explain what you're doing in this, uh, frame right here? Oh, uh, well, it looks like I'm having a nice, uh, freedom of artistic expression in my, uh, our own domicile. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9", five, or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and, and now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah. He was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo. Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I I don't know. It it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Oh, me. <sighs> Can this day get any more stressful? Oh my f***ing god, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap, that's the guy I just drew. Chris. He's Asian. He draws a f whatever that is, a picture of an Asian person. <laughs> what do you mean? It's an Asian. I drew an Asian. Yeah. Korean, sorry. I don't know. He could have been Japanese. Okay, well, f no, we don't. We're moving on, dude. Excuse me. Now that your family is gone, would you mind if we turn on the TV? Oh, hey. I didn't know anyone was here. I, uh, I was just kidding when I told my family I loved them. I am Mahmoud. I'm Peter. 
You know, I never seen a hat like that before, so I'm very scared of it. No, this <laughs> is just a tagia. It's a traditional Muslim prayer cap. Oh. Hey, you know who'd look funny wearing one of those? The Monopoly guy. <laughs> Correct. Go directly to jail and convert to Islam. Because <laughs> they do that. <laughs> yes, that is what I intended. <laughs> hey, you're all right, Mahmoud. You too, Peter. So, uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on channel 14, we can probably catch the end of Muslim Looney Tunes. As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. Me, dude. You know what the crazy thing is? I haven't seen any of these episodes, so, like, I've been waiting for the punchline and... <laughs> Muslim U Looney Tunes, dude. You know, uh, the Looney Tunes are vastly different in, in different countries. They're kind of kind of like Sesame Street. If you look it up, Big Bird is wildly different in different countries. Uh, and so are the Looney Tunes. Is he really? Porky Pig is very aware. Yeah, Big Bird is very different in all the different uh, countries. He's different for every country. It's crazy. Whoa. What the f- I told you. He looks different in all the countries. From Mexico, from America. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I did not know that. Wait a second. Peter's Asian in this one? What the f- Oh, yeah. Oh, my f God, bro. You know, they taught me limited Japanese when I started working there. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of, it, it, it sounded similar. Uh, lucky for me, all the black guy ordered was some chicken. So he, he got out of there real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. You think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, he turned them off. <laughs> he hit the kill switch on those guys. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, well, you know, those guys were built with a uh, uh, an emergency shutoff valve there. On the, right in the forehead. Okay. <laughs> I taught him that one. Okay. <laughs> so look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here. Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. <laughs> they really got no chill on this show, eh? Hey, listen, that, she's going to be really regretting it if she doesn't take a weave off, too. You know, it's going to be on the floor in, in about five seconds. Why did they have to put bird sounds over the Jewish people, dude? I don't... <laughs> Due to the nose, nasal structure of the Jews, they have to make that sound. It's kind of like a velociraptor. <laughs> kind of like you seen Jurassic Park with the, uh, they got the velociraptor. <laughs> Due to the nasal structure, they have to make bird sounds. Stewie, would you like to learn how to wrap a turban? Oh, why don't you teach it to the Chinese girl? Or perhaps she can learn after her people invade your country. <laughs> Me? Would your people really do this? Who try and stop them? And try and stop Pablo's people from using drug money to buy arms from Lee's countrymen, who will in turn sell them to Yuri's people so that they can ethnically cleanse the rest of this nauseatingly diverse grab bag of genetic party favors you call a family. So now you understand, yes, you all hate each other. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Leave it to Stewie to divide and conquer. Bro, I didn't I have I haven't watched much Family Guy. I didn't know it was like this, dude. I thought it was like they're literally like using kids to illustrate like actual problems in the world. Oh god, yes, I just told them how it is. Oh my fucking god, bro. Yes, they'll have to hear it sometime. Oh my god, dude. Time to learn math from a black guy. All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math, and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> All right, time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. Very uncommon here. Uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, well, look, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this type of video and you want to see Peter Griffin in more, then leave a like and we'll do more. Follow me over on YouTube, Potent Frog. I would like to say that I am uh, fully racist. Uh, this is my uh, coming out. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we're ending it right there, dude. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs>